Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Ratchet. As you can see, still no chassis, still no car, still no progress. But in this video, I'm going to be giving you a breakdown of what actually has gone on, because I have achieved some things. What's the state of play with the car? And also, I'm going to be showing you the exact color that the car is going to be painted, so stay tuned. It's on the way to the body shop. So excited. It is mad seeing it out of the garage for the first time in coming up a year. And obviously seeing it in its uh, raw state like it is. It's just gonna be really, really exciting to see everything kick off after this. So the car was dropped off at the body shop uh, six weeks ago now. So this is the sixth week they've had it. Now, initially when I'd sat down with the guys uh, about taking on the project, they gave me a time scale, which I must admit thought was uh, ambitious to say the least. So I must admit, I took it with a pinch of salt and didn't really think much more about it. Now, due to a few reasons out of everyone's control, um, the time scale is slipping. Um, I should have had the car back to me by now. Car and chassis should have been done, but unfortunately, some weeks there has been no progress. Um, so unfortunately, that's why I've not been sharing anything with you, either via a video or on Instagram, because nothing to show you, there's, there's nothing to show you. So it's been disappointing. Um, I'm trying to work to a time scale to get this done. There's some shows early next year that I wanted to get the car to. That's looking to be at risk, but I've been told this week there should be some massive progress uh, been made. So when I go down there later this week, I'm hoping, hoping to be overwhelmed with the amount that's happened to the car. Now, when it's going to come back to me, I'm still not sure. I've been given some dates, um, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, I would love to be proved wrong. I've, yeah, I, I don't I don't even want to mention dates because, you know, I, I just don't want to put them out there. But as soon as the chassis comes back, I can crack on, you know, that that's, that's going to keep me busy for a month or more, getting that prepped, getting it sprayed. I've got a hundred odd panels to be fitting back onto the chassis. I've got everything to refit. So there's a huge amount to be done. So it was always the plan, as I think if you if you guys remember, that the chassis is going to come back once the body's been taken apart or taken off of the chassis for very final fettling and spraying. So that chassis is going to come back to me as a, as a bare roller and that's just going to let me crack on with so much work that the body work can then take as long as it needs to. There really is no rush. The, the bottleneck for me now is getting this chassis back. So like I say, this week, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that there's gonna be some good news because at the moment, work has pretty much ground to a halt other than a few little bits and pieces, but we'll get there. I'm staying positive, trying to, um, because I'm just desperate to see this car come together now. So what have I actually been doing since the car's been away? Well. Other than keeping the floor spotlessly clean, I've started the massively time consuming job of starting to prep all of the aluminium panels. Now, spending the time now, I'm hoping will give me the jump on progress when the chassis does actually come back to me. So in essence, I have been stripping the white film, obviously off of all of the panels, which in some instances has left me with panels. You can see some of these dodgy reflections leave me with quite a, quite a decent amount of work to do with the, with the hammers and the DAs and, and various dollies to get those into a, a nice flat um, state. And then once that's been done, just hitting the panels very quickly with a 40 grit paper on the DA just to get those matted down and that then highlights further still any small little imperfections that I, that I then need to take out further and revisit. So at this moment in time, I'm working towards getting all of the panels 
to this stage, you know, where they just need another little fettle over just to get them absolutely spot on. So once all of the panels have been done, you can see there's a pile on the bench and then piles on the floor at various different stages. This isn't counting the other, I would have thought maybe 15 or 20 panels that are still on the car and they needed to stay with the car because you know they were sandwiched in between the body or they you know help set gaps and alignments and everything of that nature. So there's still more panels that haven't been touched at all. Quite a few of these need rivnuts nuts installing. So there, there's, there is a huge amount of work that I do need to do. And like I say, I'm hoping it will give me a nice head start uh, ready for when the chassis gets back. Now, I am working on a few things in the background. I'm trying to find some seats that I like. I don't want to go for the standard GT40 seats. I want to go for a more stripped out racer look. So I'm weighing up a few options at the moment. Also, I'm working on some goodies for the engine. Now, I wasn't going to muck around with the engine this time around. It was going to stay as it is. But I may as well go for it. So when the chassis comes back, the engine's getting pulled because I want to do some additional panelling to the chassis. While the engine's out, I'm going to be fitting it with some goodies. Now, these are top-end goodies. We're... Oh, I'm going to be fitting some quad 48 IDFs and I'm just waiting for them to turn up. I cannot wait. Now, it's going to be hopefully before Christmas that the box arrives. Now, they're, they're not going to get fitted to the engine before Christmas. There's no rush on that one, but obviously I'm going to show you them turning up, um, show you this beautiful jewellery that I'm going to be sticking on top of this engine. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. There's a few other little bits and pieces. I may paint the block because that's um, a blue at the moment. Again, to tone it down, I may go for a black or something like that. I've not quite decided, but yeah, I'm so excited that I'm gonna be getting some proper traditional carbs to sit on top of the engine. Um, I didn't wanna go for throttle bodies because I can't be bothered with the wiring, the injectors, all of the routing, the additional, um, uh, swirl fuel pots and everything that's necessary because as you guys know I want to keep the back end of the uh, or the engine bay as clean and as smooth as possible so trying to find additional space for tanks and goodness knows what else um, isn't something I want to go through um, so that is why I've discounted that but obviously I will go into more detail when like I say when this when this crate arrives with these engine goodies in um, but that will be for another time. So the colour. Uh, those of you that saw the um, what colour video will know I was going down a road of a dirty, deeper linden green um, and didn't really give any more away than that. Those who saw the last video of the garage makeover may have seen the little spray out sample that was propped up um, in the background. There was, there was a couple of you that did notice, uh, so fair play to those. It, it wasn't intentional, it was just where it was sat, so I get to see it every time I do come in the garage, just to make sure that I'm 100% set on the colour it's going to be. Now, for those that didn't see, this is it. Now, obviously, depending on the contrast of your monitor, your phone, my camera, and everything else, this may or may not sort of um, portray accurately now, to me, looking at it, it is a grey green. There's no shades of blue in this. There's no shades of yellow to make up this green. Um, to me, again, it's a couple of shades darker than Linden. Um, but, you know, it, it's never going to uh, come across to you guys as accurately as I can see it. But this is the colour that I've been searching for. Now, it's not a um, particular manufacturer's paint that has been used on a, a previous car, you know, back in the 60s, 70s. It's not Willow, it's not Linden, it's not whatever. Um, this colour came from a random colour chip that my local paint suppliers showed me. Now, I was down there chatting to, chatting to the guy about the project, the colour that I wanted, and I was looking through various other swatch books. And he passed me this little chip said, what do you think of this? And I must admit, I wasn't sold. But 
I got a can from him, did this spray out, and basically it hit the nail absolutely on the head. It's just a, a random color code, so a secondary spray out um, has been sent to my body shop. They have then had that sent away to their paint supplier who has analyzed the color makeup and the paint has been ordered um, in a sufficient amount to obviously paint the car. So when the body shop's ready to start spraying, I'll go down there, I'll ask them to do a small spray out so I can just color match this against theirs just to make sure it is, it is spot on before they then lay it down over the entire car. But this is it, this is the color that I'm after. So I'm hoping it's gonna look the absolute nuts when it's laid down. So the plan for the bodywork is obviously this color. White stripe, which will be vinyl. I know some people have commented it should be sprayed, but as I did mention in a previous video, I do want the option to switch up between black and white stripes. Now, if they're sprayed, that makes it a lot more difficult. So I'm basically buying myself or I'm giving myself the option to switch up the look of the car at any time. So this color, white stripe, the headlight and fog light buckets are going to be a satin black. Also so is the uh, rear clam um, portion of bodywork that you can see through the rear, rear window around the actual engine, that's going to be satin black. I'm also going to have satin black the inside of the doors and the inside of the spider as well. So I'm really hoping it's gonna give a nice complete um, job with some nice contrasting colors and details around, around the car. And yeah, again, sort of live up to that vision that I've got in my head, especially tied in with uh, the black um, image wheels, you know, the BRMs that I've got. So it, it, I'm hoping and I think it should give that look that I'm striving for. It's just a short one this time, just to give you guys a bit of a status update of what is going on. Hopefully next time there'll be something decent to show you whether it's engine parts, whether it's a body shop update, whether it's running through how I prep these alley panels, I've not quite decided. So the path of the next bunch of episodes isn't quite set out like I would like it to be. It's all fairly fluid, so please bear with me if there are uh, slightly longer gaps in between the episodes than there has been for the last year and a bit, because yeah, the car has been off the road for that long. Um, but I'm hoping as soon as, as soon as this chassis comes back to me, there's going to be, you know, it's going to be all hands to the pump because I want this out for next springtime. So until the next episode, look after yourself, have a good Christmas and I will see you soon.